So in the Lincolnshire, uh, a smiling Ethan Arahan has uh, come out to, to talk to me. I, I bet you're buzzy, aren't you? Yeah, um, you know, we put, put a lot of pressure on them in the second half. Uh, I feel like we deserved the goal or two, for sure. We got one ruled out, which was quite soft. Um, you know, and luckily we got the goal in, in the dying minutes. Talk us through the finish. Yeah, I can't really remember much of it, to be fair. I know I was at the right side of the box and Scotty Fry gave me a shout, to be fair, to go up. and Because usually I'm last man, so... He gave me a shout to go off and it spat out once. I think I had it back in and it spat out again and then you know, I've hit it with outside of my left foot and it just went in. For the last 20 minutes or say 25 minutes, you must feel you deserve something from the game. Yeah, definitely. I think second half as a whole, you know, we came out with more belief, which we need to do as, as the players. You know, We need to take the gaffer's um, advice and we need to take it by the scuff of the neck and come out and be confident and you know get playing. And I think that showed the second half. When we get playing, we're, you know, we're a really good side and we've got bodies to come back and stuff. So... No, I think the second half was a lot better, and as you said, I think we definitely deserved a goal or two uh, in that second half. Yeah, the manager wants you to be very much front foot, and it felt like that particularly second half. Yeah, um, you know, he gets his messages across, and it's it's on us to, you know, take it and, as I said, gra grab the game by the scruff of the neck, and you know, be positive and do as he's asking us to do. But you know, we need we're the players out there, so we need to be brave and a bit braver, like we were second half today, and you know, show the fans and show the other teams what we're made of. We were left scratching our head for the, the disallowed goal. What was the reason given to you? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think someone said it was Rico Phil someday or something. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see it myself. I thought it was offside at first. So I was last man, so I don't have the great view, uh, greatest view. But yeah, I heard it was offside. I fell from Rico. So yeah. So, um, you talk about Rico. It's worth talking about Teddy as well. Yeah. Uh, Jack coming on Jack Morden. It kind of sums up, and obviously you had the two new players up top for you. How difficult it's been for you guys for the last sort of six to eight weeks, maybe even longer, not having attacking options that you, you seem to have now. Yeah, I think when all three of them came on, they were excellent. You know, definitely changed the game. Um, you know, Rico playing a bit left wing backish. You know, but he's going to push us forward because he's a natural winger. So him playing left wing back is only good for the team. Um, obviously, Bish came on midfield next to me, Moylan and Ten. So no, it was good to have all three of them on today. Um, obviously, we've got Moylan. Uh, his first game today, Freddie's first game back, uh, Joe as well, so we're getting bodies in the door and I'm sure there'll be a couple more to come for sure. Um, still got bodies come back, House he's, I don't know how far, but he's don't think he's too far, so you know, missing him a lot, <laughs> he's, he's a big miss, but we're looking forward to getting him back in there. Yeah. I mean, obviously you knew Freddie, but you know, Jack and um, Joe coming in, what sort of impact have they made, not just today, but around the camp? Yeah, I think Joe from his first, you know, a week or so in training, you can tell that he's a, he's a lively body, you know, and he's going to going to give defenders a hell of a time, you know, it's top two tough defenders he came up against, they two big lads, uh, him and Freddie, you know, two young lads, but they put themselves about and I think you're going to see the best of them, you know, in the coming weeks. And it kind of feels like, understandably, it'll just take a while for everyone to get on the same wavelength in terms of getting the best out of them. Yeah, 100%, it was a few times first half, you know, the ball fell to me and I've, I've gave it away because I'm, <laughs> I'm not, maybe not used to playing with Fred or playing with Joe, so, you know, that's something we can discuss as, as players. Um, on the training pitch now, we've got another week obviously, no game Tuesday, so you know we'll talk about that and the gaffer obviously talked to us as well and we'll you know the relationships will build and we'll just keep building and getting better. Well that's why I've had breaking rights here for a dramatic goal, but but you do it for drama now, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> that's the score was also world class, wasn't it? So no, I think it doesn't matter how they go in, does it? We'll we'll take them on. You know, we'll take the point and move on to the two home games.